Bro, this is the world is the world is getting out of hand, bro. I'm just very disappointed and not only just the world, but no, I'm just disappointed in the world. That's about it. Just disappointed in the world, bro. Like the world is really it's really falling apart. And it's not only falling apart, but the world is really coming to an end. If y'all really sit there and think about everything that's going on, bro, and you a Christian, bro, you already know what's going to happen soon. The rapture is going to happen soon. Everything that Matthew, the book of Matthew in the Bible states is happening in today's society. Like the world is really coming to an end, bro. Chicago just had one of the biggest, bro, we don't even get tornadoes. How? We barely get tornadoes. Dog, when I tell you it's so many houses right now in my city that's destroyed, I'm just thankful my gas, like, I understand houses is destroyed, but I walked outside this morning, I didn't even know we had a tornado. I was asleep last night, I'm fresh off work, you feel me, balls stinking and all, I'm fresh off work, I'm, I didn't even know we had a tornado. I wake up talking about it was a tornado. I, I go outside, my whole gas tank is just wide open, I'm just thank, thank God the gas tank didn't fly off. Screw the house. My gas tank is my most important thing. I'm just thankful that thing didn't fly off because, bruh, whew, it was on this. It was, and my gas tank is on life support, if y'all didn't know. But look, um, dang, I just talked for a whole minute. <laughs> but, bruh, we got a video right here that I just want to break down, okay? Now, this happened, let me see. This right here happened, um, this happened yesterday or today? Was it? It was today. Okay, this happened, I guess it was posted today but this is the police police is looking for a suspect basically what happened i watched the video and i was just disgusted a group of people pulled this woman out her car and shot i don't know i don't know exactly the backstory of this but it's just disgusting bro it's just sad so we finna break this down get into it before we get into it hit that like button subscribe turn on post notifications follow your boy on all social media platforms man i i just really gotta see exactly what happened in this video so, you know, we can go ahead and get right into it. Man. This at six, the Humboldt Park neighborhood tonight, remembering one of their own killed hours. Another thing I can't really get my hand on. Now, I know this is WGN News. Now, I know WGN's moves mostly speak about Chicago. So, I'm assuming this happened in Chicago. Now, me, I, yes, I live in Chicago. Uh, actually, I really don't live in Chicago. I live in Illinois. Okay, but I'm from Chicago. Okay, from the west side of Chicago. So, yes, I know my, my parts in the city. But this part, I just don't know where it's at, okay? I just don't know where because I haven't been in the city in so long, bro. I just try to stay out, especially the appearance that I put. For people, I just need to stay out the city, bro. I don't want anybody thinking I'm with that, and no, I'm not, bro. I'm a Christian, and I am a God's disciple. That's what I am. After the Puerto Rican Day Parade this weekend, a video of the attack appeared. Okay, now look, I don't want to get copyright or any, I don't want you to do anything. So I'm going to just break it down like this. Okay, now, as you guys see, Right here, all right? First of all, I thought they pulled her out because of the flag that she had on her car, but the flag don't represent anything. I think I think that's a Puerto Rican flag, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really know. I don't know my, look, I didn't pay attention to history, but basically, I'm gonna just let the video play. Just, I just hope that you two don't be on they little bull crap. The attack just appeared. Like, just look at this, bro. This is ridiculous, bro. Dude shot this, bro. Dude shot him. Like, it was Call of Duty, bro. Like, bro was shot. Y'all ever played zombies on Call of Duty and you just... <laughs> bro, that's how dude... Bro, he shot him as execution style. Is that how you say execution style? Man, it was... Bro. Online over the weekend. That's like 10... Bro, that's like 10... Shelly Jans, bro. Patrick Elwood is live in Humble Park tonight with more. Patrick. Lotus and Ray, good evening to you. Another group of mourners stopping by as we speak. One... This kind of a thing has been going on all day. People I'm just gonna skip through the video because I really wanted to get to the actual part, like uh, why I'm breaking the video down and why I just said, "Here we go, right here, bro." Capturing the crime that started with a minor traffic accident. The car, Arzuaga and his companion, and mother of their two children. Why? It started off as a car accident. Why are there so many people? What y'all was doing riding the school bus? What y'all all just jumped out? I'm just confused on why was there so many people. Just why? Just why? Y'all shot the man and y'all didn't even take the car. That's a nice car. That's like a Dodge or something. But y'all decided y'all just shot him and left. At least shoot him. No, no, don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. I take that back. Do not shoot anybody. That is rude. Do not shoot anybody. You is not supposed to kill or murder. Not, no. But y'all could have, bro, y'all could have did something with a nice, authentic car. Like, look at it. The car is very nice. 
But Chet, y'all killed the man, bro. And then he had two kids at that, bro. That's just the most... I'm just trying to make light out of the situation. That's the only reason I'm making jokes. Because I'm just trying to make light out of the situation, bro. Because this stuff is really sad. First capturing the crime that started with a minor traffic accident. The car, Arzuaga, and his companion, and mother of their two... Just look at him. Just look at him. Bro. Bro, like, what the... F like, dog, you play too much GTA. You need to get off the game, shoot him this many times. Jeez. Children is rushed by a group who then proceed to pull her out from behind the wheel. Things quickly go from bad to worse. Chief of Detectives Brendan Dinahan earlier today. They are seen uh, hitting and beating the woman who's the driver of the vehicle and then eventually dragging her out. What the video doesn't show is there was a, a shot discharged at some point and you can't see it in the video. And that's, it appears when the female gets struck and then the, the male comes out. All these men are around. All these dudes are around. And y'all pulling a female out the car for what? What? exactly was the purpose of this i bro i just need to know what happened from the beginning my whole thing is first of all the car is in parked okay first of all why is the car okay it was an accident okay boom you tell me you didn't see a whole group of men just coming towards your car at that point forget the accident or drive gotta go you feel me that's just it that's just simple as that I don't know what happened from the beginning, so I can't say that could have happened because I don't know what happened from the beginning. But my thing is, bro, that was, what was the point of doing this? Bro, people need to get closer with God because, bro, look how the world is coming. The world, bro, this is the last generation. Believe it or not, this is our last generation, bro. I am the last generation. This is our last generation, bro. Like, y'all don't understand that until it happens. Just, bro, like, what's... Just look at this, bro. The male comes out, um, and he's almost on top of her. And then you see that second suspect clearly just holding it. This is, this is disturbing. This is just disturbing, bro. Oh my second gosh. suspect clearly just holding a gun, shooting him in the head, almost execution style. The ambush takes place at the intersection of Division and Spalding and only hours after the Puerto Rican Day Parade held in the same area. The mayor today calling what happened horrific. It wasn't just one person, but there were others who were standing by. Oh, this is in Chicago, yep. Yep, that's our mayor. That's our big, big foot mayor. Don't know why her name is Lightfoot. We call her Uncle Lori, you know what I'm saying? We call her Uncle Lori, just look at her, bro. Just take a good look at her. She's sick of the BS, bro. She's sick of it, bro. I think this is the first black mayor that we had. I don't know. She's sick of it. She's sick of the BS, bro. She is sick of it. Look at her, bro. She's losing hair day by day. Her forehead, bro, <laughs> literally, she's losing hair day by day, bro. Her forehead is in the front of the house and her hairline is in the basement. This is getting ridiculous, bro. She's tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm, I'm going to lose hair wearing all these hats. That's how tired I am, man. It's crazy. Who dragged that poor woman uh, out of the car. The individual, um, the, the man who was killed, usually literally used his body as a shield, and he paid for that with his life. Respect. It's a her Respect him for that, bro. Respect that man for that, bro. If it was me, I'm sorry. I would not use my body for nobody's shit. Yes, I would. I ain't gonna lie. I probably would. I think I would. Yeah. I think horrific I would. statement. It's a horrific statement about those men who are involved in that. I don't believe that they are typical by any stretch of young black men in the city, but it's horrific nonetheless. Late the they was black? They was black? Are you freaking kidding me, bro? I thought, bro, from the camera, I'm thinking they was Hispanic or I don't know. I, I, now, to do with the gun, yes, you could tell he's black. That's why I was just disgusted. That, when, in the beginning of the video, I said I was disgusted with my own race because it's just... Why are we so just, oh, like, why? Not all black people was like that, but it's just a simple, like, I'm not like that. I don't have the balls to pick up a gun and shoot somebody. As execution style, as if I was playing Call of Duty or something. I don't have the balls to do that. How do you have the balls to do that?
may God be with anybody. Like, I just, I sent all my condolences out to his family, bro. Like, I know his family just hurt, bro. Like, this is ridiculous, bro. Chicago. Chicago. It's, it's so bad in Chicago, bro. The other day, when I was coming from Florida, because I got to go through Chicago, and, you know, because the airport is in Chicago, Chicago Midway. It was getting so bad. They were shooting fire. They was popping fireworks. But in Chicago, you don't know whether it's gunshots or if it's fireworks, okay? You don't know the difference. Because at the end of the day, all you hear is pop, 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 pop a thousand times. You think of somebody getting executed right now. This is the this is the world that we live in, bro. And this happening everywhere. Denver, Duck and Donut, I don't know, whatever. This afternoon, a high school friend came to pay tribute to Giovanni. Sean says he had moved out of this neighborhood to escape the violence and just came back to visit Saturday night. And he was just a real, co like a real nice dude. Like we even lived next to each other. I didn't like, you wouldn't expect this to happen to him, especially living out in Schaumburg area. That's a dude? Oh, wow. I mess with tattoos, don't know, real talk. Is that where he's from? Yeah, no, he's from over here. His parents Wait, live over here, but over. we all moved back that way oh, to, okay. you know, have a better life. Together. So back live, this group here, every now and then you hear a little bit of a laugh, a chuckle, no doubt, probably sharing some of the better times that they shared with uh, Giovanni. That said, the woman who was with him, his companion, 25 years old, mother of his two children, last listed in critical condition. We're live in the Humboldt Park neighborhood tonight. Patrick Elwood, WGN News, Lotus and Ray, back to you in the studio. All right. Wow. His wife is in critical condition, bro. What in the absolutely freaking balls is going on with our city? Not even our city, our world. Can somebody please explain to me what was the point of killing this man? Shooting him. Execution sound. I ain't hear that. I ain't hear nobody say that in a minute. I don't think I ever heard nobody say, you shot him execution style. Like, that mean, bro, you were shooting him. Boom, boom. I just got another backstory, bro. I understand it was an accident. If they hit your car, if you if you not riding in no Telsa or no Scat Pack or no or no G Wagon, and you get that mad because they hit your car, you need to rethink your life because if you because how deep y'all was, I'm assuming y'all was riding in a school bus or something or a minivan or a soccer mom van because ain't no way ain't no way in the H E hockey sticks, bro. All these people just came around your car. You didn't lock the doors. This is the most confusing story ever, bro. This is more confusing to two trans people dating, bro. That's another story. But this is crazy, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, turn on post notifications, man. Also, follow your boy on all social media platforms. I love y'all, man. May God be with this world. This world is really coming to an end, but I'm just ready to be with my Lord and Savior. No cap. So, hey, God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.